Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breaths. When you inhale through your nose, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying calm and relax you in the present moment. Focusing on your own breath and your own practice. Now when you slowly open up the eyes, inhale your arms up, above the head, turn to come up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath too long. Inhale your arms up, big, big stretch, lengthening the spine. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms up. Reach for the sky. Exhale down. Hands to your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck, next ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any cooking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly come back to center. Repeat on the other side. Here to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guide to support the head stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. Slowly curve back to center, take an inhale and center, exhale to the right shoulder. Go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, stretch. Slowly curve back to center, take a breath here. And then we're going to lift the chin up, stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, chin to chest, really tension at the back of your neck. Inhale to come back to center, exhale and look at the right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly come back to center, take an inhale, exhale, we look at the other armpit. Slowly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center, take a breath here, shoulder strap, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen first, place the hand behind your back and use the other hand to guide that foot, tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. If you can, bind your hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. But don't worry if you're not able to do this. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Very good. Shake it out. The inside arm up and across. Pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Now we slowly release. Same arm up. We lengthen first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. But don't worry if you're not able to do this. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows up. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Go to pinch your shoulder blades, expanding along the heart chest capacity. Improving your posture. Reduce your neck hump at the back of your neck. Now we're going to slowly come back to center. Coming into a full circle, try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Continue to or the shoulder joints. Change direction. Go the other way. Make big circular motion. Slowly come back to center. We're going to inhale the arms up the length of the spine. Exhale and come to a side bend. Bending the lower arm, top arm across the knee. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Inhale, center the length and exhale. We go to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm across the knee. Feel the length in the side of the body. Inhale, center, lengthen. 
Exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs, stretching our lower back muscle, turning the neck as well. And we're slowly bringing the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale, the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. So we're going to keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Coming into torso turn, shoulder rows, so starting in a small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn, moving your shoulders as well, warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, change direction, go the other way. Toss of turn, shoulder roll. So starting out a small circle and then gradually do a deeper and deeper toss of turn. Feel free to move your shoulders. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Remain how the arms up to lengthen, exhale back down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the last, shoulders are relaxed. Neck and spine in one straight line. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly walking the hands back. Coming into a neutral tabletop, spread all your fingers, wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. So inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times. Set your own breath at your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Connecting your breath with your movement. So we inhale to come, exhale to cat. Two more times. Can and cow also help people to relieve back pain. One last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swing side to side, release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale and send an exhale to the the right hip. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Let the left hip drop. Inhale, send an exhale to the other side. Forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, send an exhale to the right. Inhale, send an exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Swing side to side. Release tension in your wrist. We're going to take an inhale and send an exhale to overlook the right hip. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Left the left hip drop. Inhale, send an exhale to the other side. Forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, send an exhale to the right. Inhale, send an exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Swing side to side. Now when you come to bird dog, arm balance, right arm and left leg up, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong, one straight line. And we're going to be holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg up, left thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong. Holding it here for three. 
two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, swing side to side. We're gonna plant the needle next, we're gonna inhale the way up. Exhale, and slide through the open, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist, then you stay here. If you like, you can extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Don't worry about raising the back leg if you find that this is challenging to balance. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder, knees, or any issues. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release, using the left hand to push yourself up. And we'll repeat on the other side, inhale the left arm. Exhale, we're going to slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be on front of you or wrapped around the waist. Thank you, Sadie, if you'd like to extend the right leg out. On your toes or off the mat. Any variation you'd like to challenge yourself. Don't worry about raising the back leg if this is challenging for you. Now we slowly, slowly release. We take the right hand to push yourself up. And from here, we're going to get ready to come up. So from tabletop, we do a down dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away. Walking it up, out by alternating, bending your knees, like mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. Very big stretch. Now we need how to come up on our tippy toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. Again, inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Rest underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the heels. Exhale, to down dog. One more, inhale, come forward to a high plank. Not sticking the butt up, not sagging. Exhale, to down dog. Now we will slowly walk forward towards the hands and now you're in the forward bend. All ten toes facing the front legs I have with you. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Get close about my ankle bones. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching out the back, opening up the hip joint. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below her, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath, we're gonna get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support, inhale halfway up. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After you've done forward bend, we'll do a back bend to counter. So interlace the finger behind, now coast down and away from you. Shine your chest up to the ceiling. Not pushing your hip forward, shoulders and bottom hips. Chins away from the body. Go to pinch your shoulder blades, expanding lung heart chest capacity, improving your posture, stimulating thyroid gland, stretching the front of your neck as well as relieve tension at the back of the neck. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Coming into a crescent moon, so we may inhale the arms up, palm touch, release index finger grow tall. Exhale with the bend with the right side. Shoulders and hips are level, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Inhale, center tall, long exhale, we go to the other side. Shoulders and hips are level, chin is away from the body. And slowly, slowly come back to center, arm down, right side, shake it out. Coming into sun salutation, so top of your mat, big toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. We're going to inhale the arms up, palm touch, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to a flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, and the step back into a plank, shifting the weight forward. Begin to see drop to your knees, tap your elbow by your side, and then immediately slide yourself up to cobra or up dog. 
Exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Middle or index when you're facing forward. Step at your feet, two feet apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Align your ears by your inner arms. Eyes are located at your toes. Now we look between the hands. We're going to step or hop forward toward the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up to your flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch, back bend. And then I'm down with the side. Into mountain pose. Continue. Inhale, your arms up. Upper salute. Palm touch, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to your flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. We're going to step or hop back into your plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Immediately slide up to cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up. Pushing the mat away. Shoulder side external rotation. Elbow side internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into a low lounge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Feel free to place your knees up front underneath the left knee. Square the hip to front when you're ready. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relax down from the ears. Eyes open. Place the hands together, release in that center. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Opening up the left hip joint. Slowly release, coming into a twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Turn and look at the back, stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly bring the body back to center. Left hand on mat, right arm up, rigid stretch. Look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release the top hand, both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Coming into a lizard or dragon. So feel free to come on the baby toes of your foot. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Heel to toe, heel to toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist, so turn the body to the right side, left elbow. On the outside of the thigh, hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and talk, look at the top elbow, stomach not resting on the thigh. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. Come sit down, square the hip to the front, point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up to lengthen, exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, so release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking at toes. Inhale to prepare, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Slowly, slowly rise up. Coming into a seated twist, bring the belly on the other side, straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee, the other arm up and over, bring the right knee behind your spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, pray hands, any variation. So we're inhale to lengthen, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. 
See if you can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, count to three. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and open. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Get the flesh cut out from your butt, hands by your side, pull your toes up to the ceiling. And when you're ready, we can go into double leg forward bend. So we're going to inhale the arms up to lengthen the legs, so we're going to head forward for a little longer. Pretty soon your hands will be beyond the feet, holding on to any part of the feet, the legs will release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release and we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So we're going to bring it down, left leg forward. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle, square the hip to the front. When you're ready, arms up, holding on to your ball, palm facing each other, pinky slightly crooked, shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Place the hands together, release in, back swing your in, half lengthen, exhale to sink, slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Slowly, slowly release, coming into the twist, way out forward, left arm back, turn and look at the back, stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly release. Right hand on the man, left arm up, reach and stretch. Look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Come into a little or dragon. So feel free to come on the baby toes on your foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side. To open up the left hip wall. If you can come down your forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead for more intensive stretch. Now, if this is too intensive for you, causing you pain and discomfort. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Neck is long, spine is straight. We're not dropping the head. Do what you can today to challenge yourself. Don't push yourself beyond the limits. Now we slowly, slowly release, pushing yourself back up. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist, so we're going to turn the body to the left side. Right elbow on the other side of the thigh, hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow, stomach not resting on the thigh. Slowly, slowly bring the body back to center. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. Square the hip to the front, pointing the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale the lengthen, exhale to fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. Slowly, slowly rise up. And from here, we're going to go into seated twist. Bring the leg on the other side of the straight leg. 
opposite arm or opposite thigh, bring the knee close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Front arm can be stop side hand, play hands any variation. So we inhale to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. See if we can turn a little bit more when we do some that. One more breath, I'm gonna slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of your body. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up and straighten up the legs, bounce a few times. Get the fleshy part up on your butt, hands by your side, sitting up nice and tall, point the toes up to the ceiling. Start pose. And when you're ready, we're going to do another bubble bullet forward bend. We're going to inhale the arms up to the ankle, exhale. Hinging forward, holding on to any foot, keep the legs and release the hands on either side. Chips away from the body, eyes looking forward, neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly rise up to release. And from here, we're going to continue with seated. If you need to have a sip of water, have a sip of water first before you continue. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankles, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up the hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toe and the entire feet, inhale the length and exhale. Hinge forward, leading with the chest, bring the elbows on the other side of the shin, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight, inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Bring your stomach a little bit closer. Not forcing yourself to come down, working with your breath always. So we need how to prepare, exhale to fold. And make sure you're not dropping the head or rounding the back. So neck is long, spine is straight. It's the stomach that needs to come down a little bit more. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to reach your wiper bend both knees, heads behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. And we'll drop the knees from one side to the other side. So let it fall wherever it falls, leaving this so the necessary have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Hip release, hip opener. Ready, I'm going to drop both knee to the right side. I'm forming a 90 90 degree. Make sure the butt stay down. Turn a little bit of exercise. So don't lean back too much. You're going to feel the stretch here. Put yourself hip joint. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center over the way. Reach your wipe a few times. Hip release, hip opener. And when you're ready, we'll drop both knee to the other side, forming a 90-90. Turn and look at the opposite side. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. 
coming into the boat pose. So get the fleshy part down from your butt. Bend both knees. Hands underneath the kneecap. When you're ready, lift the feet up. Don't lean back too much. We're going to be holding it here. Balancing on your sitting bones for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And another time when you're ready. So lift your feet off the ground. You can hold on or you can let go. Next level. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly release, balance it out. One last one to go. So get the flesh apart from your back, bend both knees. When you're ready, lift your feet off the ground. You can continue to hold on, let go, or we can sit on the hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, two and one very good slowly release come down and bounce it out coming into a big beat so use the length of your mat echoes on your mat holding the toes up to the ceiling when you're ready double leg forward a uh, wide leg forward bend we will inhale the arms up to lengthen exhale hinging from the hips leading with the chest bending the arms more room to come down so keep rolling the head forward not dropping the head we have to open up the hip joint before we can go anywhere. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to hinge. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up, coming into a side bend. So, right finger holding on to the right toes, bending the elbows. The other arm up, reach and stretch, lengthening. Look at the top thumb, and then you can slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. You feel free to release the bottom arm, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of the body. Be mindful not to pull a side muscle. Couple more breaths and we'll wrap the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Slowly, slowly come back up and we'll do a forward bend on this leg. So we'll fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale. Now we're going to turn the body to the straight leg. Hinge forward, holding on to the inner part of the foot, the legs will release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly come back, back up and walk the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose. Spread all your fingers, wrist, elbow, shoulder line, eye the elbow, internal rotation, rounding the straight leg and your strong core abdominal muscle. Lift your hips up, palm arm up, reach for the sky, shoulders step on top of each other. Be mindful of anyone who has wrist, elbow, shoulder or knee issues. Looking up. Slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. This hand on the straight leg, the other arm forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Take your time to sit back down and we repeat everything on the other side. Coming back to wide leg. If wide leg is uncomfortable for you, fold the leg that you're not using. So we'll reach for the toes. If you cannot touch the toes, hold on to any part of the legs, so you will release the head. Bending now, a small room to come down. The other arm up, reach and stretch, lengthening. Look at the top thumb, and we're going to slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. Feel the length in the side of the arm. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of my body. 
I'm going to wrap the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Slowly, slowly release. Coming to a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we're going to turn the body to a straight leg. Inch forward, holding on to any part of the foot. The legs will release the hands on either side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to fold. Just remember neck and spine in one straight line. So we're not going head to knee. The entire unit has to come down. So we're going to open up the hip joint, bring the stomach a little bit closer. Slowly, slowly rise up. Save yourself up for the gate pose. Walk the hands over to the other side, rounding the straight leg. Spread the finger on the other side, and we're going to line up the wrist, line up the elbow, shoulder together, internal rotation for the elbow. When you're ready, lift the hip up, palm arm up, reach for the sky. And we're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. Just hand on the straight leg, the other arm up, forming a crescent. Slowly, slowly release. Take your time to sit back down. Straight up the legs. Bounce it a few times. And we're going to slowly transition to come lie down on our back for reclining poses. So if you need to have a sip of water, go ahead, have a sip of water. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. And down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Chin to chest for all line down poses. Now when you're ready, you're going to lift the hip off the ground. So you're going to press firmly on the mat. When you're ready, lift the hip up, forming a bridge. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Neutral spine. Exhale to lower down, one vertebrae at a time. So we're going to keep going up and down. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movements. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Bring your head down, seeing how your arms up above the head, put your nails on the floor, lifting the hips high up, exhale to lower the arms and the hip back down. So keep going at your own breath and your own pace. When you come all the way up, chin is on the in your chest, stimulating thyroid gland. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release everything down. Once you come all the way down, you can reach your right foot. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Come into your leg lift, point the left toes up to the ceiling, slowly lift the right leg up, using abdominal muscles, hands behind the right kneecap, and we're going to point and flex the right foot. Ankle exercise. Drawing circle in the sky, strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to the bend fall. And twist your ankle. Change direction, go the other way, make it circular motion. 
Sliding the hands forward up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. The longer you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Slowly release the head down and back by your side. Nice and slow and control. We're going to release the right leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Now we repeat on the other side. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up, using abdominal muscles. Feel free to bend the right knee, hands behind the left kneecap. And we're going to point and flex the left foot. Draw a circle in the sky. Reduce wellness, increase flexibility and mobility in your ankle joint. Sliding the head forward up the leg, lifting the head chest up. Head to knee, hamstring stretch. Slowly release the head down, come down by your side. Nice and slow control. Release the left leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Press firmly on the mat. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. Flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Helping you with circulation. Energize the body. Sliding the hand forward up the leg, we're going to hold big toes, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. The lower you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch. Not carrying tension in your neck, shoulder, or upper, upper back. Slowly release the head down and back by your side. Nice and slow control. We're going to release the legs back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. And we're releasing on the right side. Grab your arms around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpits. Inhale, relax, and sound squeeze. The side of your arm is on the right side as well as ascending colon. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times all way, five times reverse, massaging the right hip joint. Change direction, go the other way, circular motion. Slowly, slowly come back to center, coming into a spinal twist, right foot on left thigh, opposite hand off that thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the right side of your neck is good. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body still on the mat. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring everything back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times, and repeat on the other side. So wrap your arms around the left knee. Draw close to the chest or armpit, inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side as well as descending colon. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times three words, massaging the left hip joint. Change direction. Slowly 
slowly kind of like ascend it, coming into your spine, no twist, left arm, right thigh, opposite and opposite thigh, slowly guide the company as close to the floor as possible. Left arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn over the left side, your neck is good. Feel free to go into cat and holding the tent by holding on to your foot or any part of the legs. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Slowly bring everything back to the center, straighten on the legs, find the future toes. Bend both knees, grab your arms around your knees, rock from side to side. Create your big circular motion if you like, covering your big area. Massage your lower back and sacrum, also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way. Big, big circular motion. Slowly come back to center, lift your feet up to the sky, come into happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet, press down so that the knees are closed to the armpit, rock from side to side. Massaging the entire spine, the entire back, opening up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs. Slowly, slowly come back to center, bring the legs together, arm down by your side. Nice and slow of control, we're going to release the legs back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Bring the sole of your feet together, let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. Arm down by your side, palm facing down. Like gravity, that's the job to open up the hip joint. Getting ready for Shavasana. So when you're ready, you can have your legs apart as wide as the mat. Let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body, turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips, chin to chest, close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax your jaws. Suck the teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Scan your body and see this end where it's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your breathing. Staying very calm and relaxed and still in the present moment in your own inner world. Couple more breath here. We're going to slowly wake up the body by waking your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your neck left and right. Bring the legs together, pulling your toes. Inhale your arms up and above the head, full body stretch. Exhale and down to the side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head, point your toes, big, big stretch, rib cage rising. Exhale, and down by your side. Bend both knees, raise your right arm, move over to the right side of the body. Come into a fetus position. 
Let your blood pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. To close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. So thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.